Yo, what is going on you guys? This is Gaming Watson, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I want to go ahead and discuss with you guys about Call of Duty 2020 because lately we have been getting a lot of leaks regarding the game and I just wanted to go ahead and discuss about those leaks with you guys and kind of give you guys my thoughts. Before we go ahead and do that though, I do want to say that yes, I have been away from YouTube for quite a while now. I do apologize for that as I was busy with a lot of personal things that I needed to take care of first before YouTube. And also I wanted to go ahead and put out a disclaimer to act Activision that in this video I will be sharing no footage of any leaked content as well as screenshots. So for all of my audience that's watching this video right now, if there is anything that I'm referring to that's not shown in this video, I will try my best to leave a link in the description below that represents exactly what I'm talking about throughout the video. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the topic of Call of Duty 2020 by first talking about the Red Door. So what is the Red Door? Well, apparently according to leakers such as the Gaming Revolution, Modern Warzone on Twitter, and I think DK Dynamite. But basically these leakers got together and found out that the Red Door is actually an alpha for Call of Duty 2020. And it was actually found within the PlayStation Store, which they went ahead and data mined or a few members of the Call of Duty community did. I forgot who exactly did what, but the point is, is that when this was data mined, they found out that this was actually the alpha build for Call of Duty 2020. And this isn't the first time this actually has happened. Happened. We've actually seen this happen all the way back in Black Ops 3 when Activision went ahead and decided to put up a game called The North Woods or something along the lines of that. And basically, this was the alpha build for Black Ops 3. And a lot of people who were downloading Zombies Chronicles back then actually ended up seeing this pop up, which brought a lot of questions within the Call of Duty community of what this could be and a lot of speculation of what that Call of Duty title was going to be for that year, which ended up being Black Ops 3. And of course, when that started happening, Treyarch and Activision decided to go ahead and take down that specific title off the PlayStation Store, which basically might end up happening with the Red Door in this case, because like I said, this scenario is kind of similar to what happened with Black Ops 3 and when its alpha was actually leaked out all those years ago. Additionally, these leakers also found out that this alpha build was actually 71 gigabytes large. Now that's pretty big for an alpha, but then again, we don't really know exactly what content is going to be within that alpha and if it's even going to be playable for, you know, the people in the Call of Duty community sort of like how the alpha was playable for Modern Warfare when the 2v2 gunfight came out for the PlayStation 4 players to try out. Yeah, I'm not really sure if that's what's going to be happening with Call of Duty 2020. We might end up getting a beta, but there are some sources out there talking about how a beta might not even be possible. I don't know. It's kind of all over the place right now, but the point is that the Red Door is basically the alpha build for Call of Duty 2020. Now, throughout this entire video so far, I've been referring to this game as Call of Duty 2020. However, we might just have to start referring it to Call of Duty Black Ops. Yes, you guys, Black Ops seems to be the final confirmed name for this upcoming Call of Duty title. And the reason why is because alongside with the red door being data mined, well, we also got an image that was data mined that shows off a logo for a game called Call of Duty Black Ops, but except it's not the Black Ops that came out back in 2010. This is a brand new looking logo, which unfortunately, once again, I probably can't show you on screen because I might get copyright struck by Activision but I'll try to leave a link in the description below or just check Twitter because people are posting this image left and right over and over again so it's not that hard to find. But basically my thoughts on this is that well it's kind of cool to see that the Black Ops universe is going to get rebooted sort of like Modern Warfare but it kind of seems like that Treyarch was running out of ideas and decided to do what their friends over at Infinity War did and that is to basically just reboot this franchise that was working the best for them within the Call of Duty franchise. So I don't know I mean it seems like it's something repetitive in terms of ideas on what to do for another Call of Duty title, but I mean, being able to go back to the Cold War potentially and experiencing the timeline that we did with Black Ops 1 back in 2010, it's going to feel great again in my opinion, so I can't wait for that. And before I go ahead and close off today's video, I do want to go ahead and mention that there have been a lot of leaks coming out and suggestions coming out that basically talk about how the next Call of Duty title, aka Call of Duty Black Ops most likely, is going to be revealed during the PlayStation 5 event that's going to be taking place this Thursday on June. June 11th. And honestly, that makes a lot of sense to me because, I mean, when it comes down to the Call of Duty franchise for the past couple of years, or actually few years, Call of Duty has had a very close partnership with the guys over at PlayStation. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they re-signed that deal again for like the PlayStation 5 and that Call of Duty is going to actually be an exclusive for the PlayStation console versus the Xbox console. So maybe 
Call of Duty 2020, aka Black Ops Cold War or Black Ops, whatever you want to call it at this point, is most likely going to be revealed during that event. And that would be pretty cool in my opinion. I mean, we'll also probably get to see what this game might even look like on next generation consoles, which is very, very exciting. And honestly, that's why I'm really excited for the PlayStation 5 event that's going to be taking place later on this week. Not only because Call of Duty might actually end up getting revealed, but we might end up seeing a lot of cool games that are probably going to blow our minds, you know, when we take a look at how amazing they look graphically and hopefully they'll all end up becoming very enjoyable games to play for us as the years go by. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about Black Ops potentially being the title for Call of Duty 2020, your thoughts on the alpha being leaked on the PlayStation Store, and just your overall thoughts about what you've been hearing about in regards to Call of Duty 2020. If you guys enjoyed today's commentary, please go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, click the bell icon so you never miss an upload, and follow me on my social media accounts. This includes my Twitter account, my Twitch account, and my YouTube channel. Of course, the links to all of these social media accounts are in the description below. Your support means a lot to me, and thank you very much for stopping by in today's video. Until next time, take care of yourselves, and bye.